Hey, it's Marina, the Trader Chick, and I'm here to simplify your trading for you. And today the question is, why do day traders fail? And I'm going to talk about something that is unspoken, and I'm going to speak all about it. But first, subscribe below, hit the notification button so that you get my simplifying day trading hacks coming to you weekly. Okay, so why do traders fail? Because they do not master the one. What does that mean? It's like this. Imagine your kid coming over to you and saying, hey, mama, papa, I want to learn how to play a musical instrument. And you're like, okay, awesome. Which one? They're like, I want to learn how to play the violin, the drums, the piano, the flute. And you're looking at them and you're like, well, you should just pick the one to focus on so that you could really learn how to play it. Otherwise, they're so different that you're not going to be able to fully understand. Yet, day traders don't realize that what we are trading, they're actually called instruments for the same purpose. So, niching down in the markets is what's actually going to make you a pro trader and why the main reason why day traders actually fail. I get so many people coming to me daily saying, I want to trade Forex, options, equities. Oh, I'm also interested in crypto. I'm like, so you want to get into four different trucks and drive them at the same time on four different roads and be successful? Not possible. Not possible. This is not investing, guys. This is day trading. You got to niche it down. You got to find that one, that one and master it. Okay, so let's just understand it a little bit better. Forex, right? Forex is an entire market. You cannot do Forex and options at the same time. It's not even possible, right? But people think they can. And also within Forex. So what is Forex? Forex is literally foreign exchange currencies, right? That's what you're trading is different currencies. And it's pairs. And even in Forex, you want to make sure that you go either with a couple of pairs, right? You don't want to do too many because they're all different, right? You have to follow different governments, different regulations, different things that are going on in the world. So niche it down. If you want to really master Forex, choose only a couple of pairs that you want to follow. Don't do it all. It will never happen, right? Equities. Here's a biggie. Here's a biggie. Just in the U.S. there are over 5,000 different equities to trade, okay? So it's impossible to say, I trade stocks. Well, you sound like a moron. You don't sound like a day trader. Normally, pro day traders, they will tell you, okay, well, I'm really into sectors. I'm into a sector, not sectors, a sector. Oh, I'm really into pharmaceuticals or tech or media or entertainment, something specific, right? Or you'll hear others say, I trade big, big caps or small caps. And you'll get the others that are really risky with a penny stock. So I'm not even going to go into that. But at least they understand they need to focus on the penny stocks. They can't be doing it all. And, you know, there are quite a lot of traders that are really good at one stock. Either Amazon, Tesla, Facebook, Microsoft. You could choose the one and really kill it in the market. That is what a pro trader does. An amateur trader that will fail trade stocks or everything at once. Futures or commodities. We've heard about commodities. What is commodities? It's crude, wheat, soy. And a lot of people don't realize that you could also trade the indexes on the commodities or the futures market. So tell me this, does the S&P 500 work the same as wheat? No. So when you're telling me I'm really into futures, again, you sound moronic and chances are you are probably not being a successful day trader. So even within this market, choose the instrument that you really want to focus on. Is it crude? Is it indexes? Is it NASDAQ? Is it S&P? Find that niche and that's when you sound like a real winner and you're actually killing it in the market. And we have crypto. You can't forget about crypto. So if you're going to tell me, oh, I trade crypto and you're only in Bitcoin, well, then you're not really in crypto. Crypto is 6,000 or even more projects and altcoins. So again, you got to niche it down, man. You cannot tell me you're trading crypto because then again, 
you're probably not doing well. So that is the secret. Something that is totally, totally untalked, unspoken about. It is mastering the one. Remember this, guys. Remember this. We all know Liberace. I don't care. You could love him, hate him, laugh at him. But this guy, we all know him because why? He rocked it. He was a master of the piano. I can guarantee you if I put a flute in him, he'd probably kill it. But he knew the piano was his domain. What's your domain? And that's when you'll be a pro trader. I want to hear it. What's your domain? Comment below in the comments. Give me your feedback. And again, subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you get the simplifying day trading hacks and tips coming to you weekly.